Hey guys, so I am tired of hearing you guys say that you just cannot master these rod sets. So I am back with another tutorial. It's going to be super detailed. And today, y'all, we're going to master these prime rod sets. We're going to kill it. All right, so I am starting on freshly clarified and deep conditioned hair because we do not want buildup and we are deep conditioning because we do not want dryness. So we want our hair to be moisturized and flake free when we do our rod set. And y'all, I don't know if you can see it or not, but if my hair looks like a gray or ashy, blue, whatever, it's because I'm currently fading out my blue for my next color. Can you guys guess what it might be? Mm-hmm, stay tuned. But yeah, now I'm going to moisturize then seal my hair using the Aunt Jackie's half and half hydrating and silkening hair milk and then I'm using the seal it up hydrating and sealing butter from their flaxseed collection which is available in stores at CVS. Y'all it is important to make sure your hair is properly moisturized and sealed when you're doing your perm rod sets. So I decided to use the flaxseed collection today because flaxseed is hydrating. Hydrating means it actually penetrates the hair strands to moisturize all the way to the core of your hair. Black seed is also conditioning, which means that it makes the hair smooth and more manageable and easy to work with. So you guys see me layering this hair milk, which is water-based, and it also has coconut milk, avocado, and marshmallow root in it. All of these ingredients are able to actually penetrate the hair strand and moisturize. And I actually got tired of spraying it and started pouring it in my hand and then pouring it on my hair. But then you see me locking in that moisture with the sealing butter, which is an oil-based cream that has avocado again, which again, that can penetrate the hair. But it also has shea butter in it, which is a sealant. And sealants basically sit on top of your hair to lock in moisture and slowly absorb so that the moisture lasts for days. But this is a really good consistency. You guys can see my hair is absorbing it nicely. Now that I'm all moisturized and sealed, I'm moving right along to the styling with the Curl Maintenance Curl Defining Whip out of the same collection. And here's my first dome. This is how you do not rod your hair, y'all. See how I'm just nicely detangling my hair with my wide tooth comb. Then I'm just nicely wrapping my ends and rolling it up. And my hair is still wavy over the rod. And when I get to the root, the band is like two inches down and just dangling there. That right there is what you're not going to do. What you do is you smooth that curl out and rod it tight with some tension, y'all. So what I do is I take a good detangling brush or comb that stretches and smooths my curls right on out. And this right here is the Tangle Teaser Ultimate Brush. Then I'm going to keep my hair pulled tight. And y'all can see how smooth my hair is. Like It looks like it's straight when it's in my hand. Then I'm going to keep that same tension pulling on it and secure my ends by wrapping the very end of my hair around the rod. And I'm still pulling on it. I'm gonna keep that tension and I'm not gonna relax that grip and I'm gonna start rolling up. And see that hair near the top that ain't smooth, it's kinda curly? That's the front of my hair where my edges are. The hair is a little shorter there. And I'm gonna go ahead, take that hair, pull it around the rod till it's smooth and keep rolling. And see how tight this is compared to that first one I did? This is how you rod to get smooth curls. Another thing you don't want to do, well, this is something that I don't do, is I do not rod my hair right on top of itself where I'm just wrapping the hair over top of itself on top of the rod. Why? Because it takes my hair a lot longer to dry when it's just stacked on top of each other like that. And when I separate my curls, the curls don't drop down like in a spiral. It's like an ununiform curl and it makes the overall look look less neater. What I do is wrap my ends over each other once or twice just to secure them. Then I hold that same grip, pulling my hair tight and kind of spiral my hair upward over the rod. And it's gonna overlap still a little bit, but all your hair isn't just sitting on top of itself. And I hope this makes sense. You guys can see the difference though if you look at the motion between me rotting the first time and then the second time. And when I take the rod out, it's gonna spiral down versus being stuck in that tight ring. Now let's talk about these roots. At the end of the day, when you pick and fluff your hair, your roots are gonna get bushy because you're sitting there and you're going at your roots. But for me, when I rod, I still want my roots to be stretched. It actually helps when I'm fluffing and picking later. 
and I'll explain why. But for now, I go ahead and I take the rod itself and twist it around. Then the root kind of looks like how hair twists when we do our bantu knot. And when it gets that twist, I go ahead and strap the rod down. When I just take the strap and put it across the hair without doing that twist, it just be sitting there dangling. And when my hair dries, it's going to be real tight and kinky. And it's going to be hard to fluff later. That's why I go ahead and stretch it. Because when my hair is in its natural state and I'm trying to pull at the roots, it's going to cause breakage. So I do want to stretch my roots out, even though they're going to be a little bushy later, later when I start fluffing. Now, when it comes to choosing a styler, it can make or break your rod set because you can ride the most perfect rod set and your styler is trash and your hair gonna come out trash. Now my preferences are medium hold products like creams and mousse, but I also want that soft and bouncy feeling. This curl defining whip is water based, so it's an extra layer of moisture. It has argon oil in it to prevent frizz and a little bit of shea butter to seal it up. And I would say this is a medium hold. If you do your rod sets and they come out really good when you take that rod out, but when you start separating, it gets frizzy and loses shape. It could be a texture thing that happens with kinkier hair. And you just gotta learn to love and appreciate your texture and them kinks will. But sometimes, it's the product. And the hole might be too strong, it might be too soft. You kinda gotta figure out which one it is. I debated about giving y'all this last perm rod set don't, but the hair guys are apparently gonna get to tell y'all anyway, so I'm going to because y'all see when my hair started unraveling, you can see that curl reverting on the rod. Yeah, so I know some people can go through and rod their whole head with 16 rods and work in big sections. But if you're watching this video, you're probably struggling with your rod set. And my advice to you is to not work in big sections. It's just a lot harder to handle your hair. It's too much trying to wrap it and making sure it's neat. And I don't count rods, so don't ask me how many I use. But work in sections that are small and comfortable to you. If you're struggling to grip your hair and get it over that rod, go ahead, split that section in half, and try it again. So this is the next day, and look at the shine, y'all. And ooh, this bounce. My hair looks so good already. And so, perm rod set don't time. Do not take these rods out before they dry. I do let my hair dry overnight. I do sit under a dryer for about 30 to 60 minutes every time I do my rod sets. But hair part is optional. I do this because it helps my hair dry faster. And again, I'm low porosity, so that heat opens up my cuticles and helps the product absorb. Another don't is to not just rip them rods out your hair. Nicely unravel them like you see me doing here so that curl stays smooth and intact. Also, do not forget to protect your hair at night. Invest into a silk pillowcase to lay on with your rods in your hair so it won't be rubbing up against the fabric and getting frizzy. All right, so the rods are out, and now I'm going to be using the soft all-over multi-purpose oil. It has coconut, grapeseed, jojoba, shea, and ginseng in it, and it's to relieve dry hair, scalp, skin, and nails. So again, it's multi-purpose, but today I'm using it to separate my hair and keep the frizzies away and add some extra moisture. And perm rod set don't time. Do not just start pulling them curls any which kind of way when you're separating. You have to take your time and pull the curls apart and coil them in the direction that they were rolled. Because if you just pull them apart any kind of way, they're going to be frizzy. And if you coil them in the opposite direction, the curls are going to look weird. Okay, so I'm all separated and ignore this faded color, but look at these curls. They are just perfection. I just love me a good rod set, y'all. Like, this is my favorite style. And it's time to fluff, which is my favorite part. And, all right, sis. So I use a wide tooth comb, a pick, and a blow dryer to get my volume. But, perm rod set, don't time. Do not over fluff your hair if you're scared of frizz. You gotta decide between frizz and volume. Evidently, I choose volume. So next don't is going to be when picking your hair. Don't just comb through your hair all the way to the ends like you're detangling. You want to just hit those roots. Also, if you're getting a lot of resistance and you're in popping noises when you're stretching your hair out at the roots, stop because you're breaking your hair off. Next time you ride, you just want to make sure that you're detangling your hair all the way to the roots and stretching and securing them when you're doing your ride set. So what y'all do see me do is I hold my ends and just hit those roots. And I start off with my wide tooth comb. Then off camera, I take a blow dryer with the concentrator attachment, not the comb attachment, the concentrator attachment. 
And I do the same thing, just lightly hit my roots on medium heat. That stretches and elongates it out. Then I'm gonna end with picking, which just lifts my hair up and plumps it up for more volume at the roots. Do have a very detailed video on my stretching process, including how I do it with the blow dryer. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and click here. But this is how you master a perm rod set, sis. Now it does take practice and time. You may have to modify some steps for your texture, but overall, this is the foundation right here. So y'all, this is the final look. And y'all go ahead and say bye to this blue hair. Hopefully next time y'all see me, I'll be rocking my new look. But yeah, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what other tutorials and breakdowns you guys want to see. I'm thinking about doing a Mastering Natural Hair series. Let me know what y'all think. So yeah, until next time, bye.